Hello everybody, my name is Angel M. Welcome to the second episode of Advancement Tutorials in Minecraft. Last episode we created this nether folder or this nether folder in advancements in our saves folder. And uh, if you don't understand anything what I'm saying right now, you should check episode 0 and 1. Um, and yeah, and watch those and you'll see what I'm doing right now and you'll totally understand because we're just um, proceeding or we're just continuing from wh where we ended off last time. So yeah, in we have a nether, nether folder where we have the root.json and this thing we just copied in and we changed the parent of so it actually connects. And so that's what we're going to do in this episode. We're going to make actual more connections and we're going to change the background to something completely different and show you some more advanced advancements. Yeah, how about that? Anyway, so we're not going to touch the root of JSON anymore after we're going to change the background. So it's really easy if we read this. So we're going to the root folder of the Minecraft resource pack, which is the default resource pack, which we extracted from, from the JSON file in episode zero. So check that out. We're just going to the default resource pack, assets, Minecraft, there we are. And we can see Minecraft, that's the uh, this folder we're in right now. Textures, textures, GUI, GUI, advancements, backgrounds, nether.png. And this one was already in there. But if you want to make your custom uh, background, so if you want to actually make a custom background, because we're not loading this resource pack anywhere, it's loaded with the game. So if we want to use some textures, we can just simply go into textures and then into blocks and find a cool texture so instead of the nether.png it's a little bit you know busy wanna, we want to still something nether related but we don't want it so busy so we're just going to do nether brick red.png so just copy that name real quick and put it over here and it's not in the backgrounds folder it's in the blocks folder, which is in the texture folder. So after textures, we go to blocks and not to GOI, backgrounds, blah, blah, blah. We go to blocks. So textures, blocks, and then red nether brick.png, which we can find over here, anywhere, red nether brick.png. And so if this path is exactly uh, the same from the Minecraft folder on, we can just use that custom texture. And so if we want to use a resource pack, we can use a resource pack that changes the texture blocks and the, this thing. It will also change the background over here according to the resource pack. Now, if you don't want that, if you want your own custom texture and nothing to overwrite that, you have to put a resource pack in your world folder over here, zipped and um, with a special path to it. Of course, you can just do um, Minecraft textures and then custom or something or Minecraft custom and then advancements background or whatever and just use your own custom resource pack. But this will just use the texture from um, red nether brick. So it will just use this texture over here as your advancements background. So look at that texture, beautiful. All right, so we're going to save and quit, go back into the world to reload the advancements. And as you can see, this is now over here tiled. So it's tiled over here and it makes a pretty beautiful background. So we're gonna keep that. So that's how you change it to any background you want. And that's pretty cool. Now, we want to actually do some more with advancements. I went in the wrong folder. We want to actually do something, all right? So we can, we, we know how to change this. We know how to um, make, make things change based on what items we pick up. But we want to actually do something special. So we're going to change this mine stone. We're going to just rename it because it's not really descriptive for what we're going to do. It's kill Hickman. So we're going to do something stupid. Right, we're gonna kill Pigman. 
Now we can't just use this, we can't just say inventory changed because Pikmin don't always drop gold, they don't always drop um, rod and flesh, and I mean, if you just drop golden ingots on the ground, or, or I mean golden nuggets on the ground, or you kill a, a regular zombie, it will also trigger. So how do we check if we kill a Pikmin and nothing else? Well, you'll have to look into advancements and see how they did it over here. So we can see um, the flak arrow, mine stone, mine diamond, lava bucket, form obsidian, and all those kind of cool stuff. And we have something like summon wither. Now there isn't any kill entities in here. So we have to figure something out to actually kill it. So as you can see, we have conditions, entity. So what if we just we just fiddle around with this and we don't use um, summoned entity, but we used killed entity. Does that actually work? I'm just going to experiment here on camera. So if it doesn't work, it's all wasted. We're just going to use this condition. Conditions entity type wither is going to be. Um, let's let's do something easy right now. Zombie. We're just going to kill a zombie. All right. So kill zombie Pikmin. So we're just going to kill zombie Pikmin, and it's an icon. It's going to be rotten flesh or gold and sword. So we're just going to do a golden sword. And we're going to put it in story nether root, that's the parent. So after we get quartz, we're gonna kill a zombie pigman and we're gonna change this to kill Z pig. Alright. So we're just going to check for a zombie yet because I don't know the actual name of a zombie pigman. So we're just going to test it with zombie. So we're just going into our save and quit title. Go into the advancements and actually see if it works. And if we look in here, it's gone. It doesn't even show up. And that means we made an error in our, in our JSON file. And that's because, I trolled you, it doesn't actually exist. So we can't use this. We can't actually check if entities are killed yet. Unfortunate for us. But we'll have to figure out something else. So, instead of this, what I'm just going to do is... I uh, will just kill this idea. We're just we're just going to kill ourselves in lava. Kill yourself in lava. Ah, uh, let's make that a little bit friendlier. Fall in lava. So, yeah, that turned out really bad for us. We're just going to fall in lava. So we're just going to Minecraft lava buckets. So we're just going to fall in lava. Or actually bone. Why not? I mean, your bones will burn anyway in lava, but we're just going to uh, rename the criteria to fall in lava. That's the craziest thing in the world. And we're just going to trigger it by something else. So we're going to look in our story and we can see enter the nether. What happens when we do that? Okay, so the criteria enter nether portal, trigger by Minecraft, enter block. Hey, now that does exist, so we can put it in. And so, we're just going to look at the conditions, we're just going to copy that and overwrite it over here. And so it should look something like this. We change this to lava. Now, this works only with normal lava, it doesn't work with... Oh wait, I have to make sure that I do this right here and not in entity. So, it should work like something like this in Minecraft lava. So only with regular Minecraft lava, it doesn't... It doesn't work in um, in flowing lava. So we'll teach you how to check for multiple things at once, but we'll keep it simple and just take lava. And so we have to go into lava, and we'll and that will happen. So we just rename this real quick so it doesn't call kill pigment because that feature doesn't exist yet. Lava, or a little bit more descriptive, fall in lava.json
And now when we quit the game or quit the world and relog, we can see in the advancements tab, fall in lava. Yay! So how do we get this achievement? Well, we have to fall in lava. We don't need to die, we just have to fall in lava. And so we're, we're doing our stuff and oh no, we fell in lava and it's like, oh no. Well, look what happened. Hey, we fell in lava. So yeah. That works. Cool. And uh, we also have this advancement uh, for Minecraft, but we are not looking at that. So yeah, in this episode, um, to quickly recap, what we did was we were checking out how to change our background to something completely different in a completely different folder and how to change that and to have control over that. And we also looked in how, to we can, how can we change this to something that is not based on checking items in our inventory. And that's basically enter a block, Minecraft Lava. And so we have our own custom advancement for that. Um, to see all the triggers that are currently available, because um, I also showed you that it will not work with Minecraft Kill Entity because that's not an available trigger. It doesn't exist yet, of this episode at least, in this current time that I'm recording this. So I showed you that you can't just make up random things. You actually have to, it actually has to exist. And you can just put it in. I showed you that it doesn't show up if you made an error. So that's the, that's the lesson you learn. This is a different trigger. And all those triggers are actually on the, the wiki. I put those there. Yeah, I put those there. Huh? And yeah, I actually did to emphasize that I actually contributed to the wiki because nobody else did and I had to do it again. Anyway, so yeah, you can find on the wiki the triggers that are available. I'll put that in the comments below so you can check out what triggers are available as of now. And maybe when you're watching that list has completely changed and has tons of triggers and maybe you can put Minecraft killed entity and maybe this would have worked, but it didn't. Unfortunately. Anyway, enough rambling. This is what we did in this episode. Fall in lava, and that's a nice branch. And to um, quickly make a different branch, we can just copy this, and we call this fall in water. Real quick, uh, this is kind of like against rules because we're already closing the video, but we can just quickly do this. Lily pad something. Is that a lily pad? Lily pad. Water lily. Gosh. Gosh. Why is the why should water lily? Water lily. Alright. Water lily. In the nether. In the nether it makes total sense. Fall in water. End block. Water. And as you can see, you can just save and quit. Come back into the game. And in advancements, you can see fall in water. And actually, when we touch water and it works with floating water, as you can see, we get the advancements. So, yeah, that's how you make advancements, um, basic advancements in Minecraft. In the next episode, we'll go even further in depth. And we might, in the third episode, or no, in the fourth episode, we might touch on recipes and custom recipes and custom recipe advancements and how to work with that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below because I don't know what you know or not know. And I'll answer those uh, questions in the comments. Um, I might make a dedicated video about it if there is a lot of comments about it. But that's it for this episode of Custom Advancements Tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.